Finally, new episode titles. It's been 3,000 years. Yo, what's up everyone? Trey Mel one here and finally after so long, we finally got some new episode titles, three new titles and summaries. And I got to say these episodes are pretty interesting. So let's go ahead and get into our first new episode title discussion in over I think really 2 to 3 months. Let's go. Starting things off, we have episode 30, The Reluctant Pikachu and the Exasperated Mr. Mime. The summary states, after winning the official Pokemon World Championships battle, the emanated Pokemon Riolu is feeling like a million bucks. But Ash's fixation on training Riolu pushes Pikachu's patient to the limits. And it ends up leaving the Sakuragi Laboratories. Mr. Mime chases after it in attempts of holding it back, but Pikachu is set in this its way. Where does the road this duo heads down lead them? This episode is so crazy, too, because in the last PokeChat Live, we were just talking about how Ash is bringing Riolu along everywhere, not bringing Dragonite, Gengar, and just everything like that. So to see that it's actually taken into effect and Pikachu starting to get jealous, I just imagine the other Pokemon, like Dragonite, Gengar, Farfetch is pretty new, but this is crazy. I would have never thought we'd have had another Pikachu leaving sort of episode, and this time around, it's Pikachu getting jealous. But to be fair, Pikachu has been in a lot of the World Championship battles so far. You know, in Episode 7, it fought against Hoji. It fought against the Toros Trainer. It fought against Pisces. It fought against... Like, Pikachu's been used a lot. So, I'm surprised Pikachu's getting jealous that Ash is using Riolu. Which I gotta say also, I'm glad that Ash is finally using Riolu in battle. In the last episode, we saw a battle against Farfetch, which was a wild Pokemon. But seeing that it's gonna win his first World Championship battle... Ash has done a lot of training to Riolu. Like, it knows Force Palm and Reversal for crying out loud. Two of his strongest moves. Riolu will evolve really soon at this rate. But as to where Pikachu's heading, I think there's a possibility that Pikachu could run into the Kangaskhan that we ran into in episode one. In the episode where we learned about Pikachu, Pichu's past. I think that will be an amazing setup that they did where, I don't know, episode one was cool, but... I feel like it is going to come back sometime in the series. And just imagine if this is the episode we get to see those King's Cons and see how much Pikachu has grown. And they're like, you should go back to your trainer. You know, you, you got a good family. And Pikachu decides to, you know, what am I thinking? And with Mr. Mom coming along too, I feel like this is a big possibility that we get a lot of flashbacks. Mr. Mom has been there since the original series. So just imagine Mr. Mom and Pikachu are traveling around Kanto and Pikachu goes back to places that, you know, him and Ash have been to. And he's like, having flashbacks of the moments and of their journey and just Mr. Mom's like, you know, yeah, like Ash may be training Riolu for now, but it's the baby, you know, like you and Ash had all these amazing adventures. And in the end, Pikachu realized that he'll never be replaced as Ash's first Pokemon. Like, I think this has potential to be a really amazing episode. Hopefully Mr. Mom gets some more development too, because I really like to think that Mr. Mom is an official member on Ash's team this time around. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. Following that, we have Feebash and the Pretty Scale. The summary states, Sota has come to Ash and Go for advice. If you don't know, Sota is Kaharu's little brother. He explains that his friend Nami is feeling bad because everyone keeps telling her that her Pokemon isn't any cute. The Pokemon in question is Feebash, which is said to be the shabbiest Pokemon in the world. However, Nami and Feebash aim to win the Water-type Pokemon Friendship Contest, since the truth is is that Feebash hides an amazing secret. So this does seem to be a fillerish episode. I know when I first saw the title, I'm thinking, wait, could Ash or Go possibly be catching a Milotic? But this episode is going to show off Feebash evolving into Milotic nine times out of ten. Because, you know, they talk about how it's an ugly Pokemon and it's going to evolve into this true beauty. I am interested, though, that they have an episode focused on Sota. I kind of wish Kaharu played a role in this episode, too. Because we do have the upcoming Karu and P-Dove episode, but it doesn't seem like she's going to be in this episode. So it doesn't seem like she will be joining the group yet. But hopefully soon she'll join the group finally. Like, I kind of, I don't know what they're doing with Karu now. I don't even know if she's going to end up joining them sooner or later. I'm hoping that's the case, though. But yeah, I think this episode will be pretty filled. I don't see this being like Nessa's debut or Misty's return. Because I feel like they would have emphasized that in the actual, you know, title or summary. So... This episode may be a fill-up, so Go may catch like one or two more water-type Pokemon, but that's really about it. 
the final episode we got is Pokemon Coco, the episode. I'm joking, guys. I'm joking. But no, we have Celebi, a timeless promise. And I find it so interesting that we have a Celebi episode literally one year after the last one. The summary states, three years ago, Go met a young boy named Tokyo on a family trip to Hiwata Town in the Johto region. Tokyo was searching for the mythical Pokemon Celebi and two kindred spirits decided to search for it together. But Celebi turned out to not be all that easy to find. The two of them parted ways, promising to meet up again the next day to continue their search. But Tokyo never showed up the next spot. Showed up the spot at the next, you know, as they promised. Flash forward to the present day, where Go returns to this town and ends up encountering dot dot dot. Before I go into further discussion on this episode, last year we literally got the episode where Ash went back and met young Professor Kakui. And I got to say, this is one of the best Sun and Moon episodes. I do recommend you all check that out if you haven't seen it. But I do find it interesting that, you know, we're having another Celebi episode. This time around, it's obviously to promote Pokemon Coco. But I don't know what they're going to do this time around. Because, you know, we had Forever where Ash went back to see Oak. We had this episode where Ash went back to see Kakui. And I don't know how they can top that episode for real. While it's true, this episode is focused on Go. I'm not sure if Sakuragi is going to be the person. Like, well, maybe like young Sakuragi is Tokyo and he came to the present day looking for Celebi somehow. I don't really think they're going to do that. But this Tokyo person might have went back in time too. I, I really don't know, to be honest. It's kind of confusing. Like, how to, what are they going to do? Maybe Go goes back in time and ends up meeting Tokyo again? I'm not too sure. I don't see Zerude or anything like that appearing yet. I do feel like this Pokemon may have an appearance in the anime, like how Marshadow, Magirna, and Zeroar did, but I don't think this is going to be its time or place. Like, I feel like it may appear much later. Or who knows, you know, we might just see Zerude, and Tokyo could be similar to Coco. All I know is, I hope that Go doesn't try to catch Celebi. I feel like the only mythical that he should catch this series is Mew. I know he wants to catch all Pokemon leading up to Mew, but the thing is, like, Mythicals and Legendaries, that's kind of sketchy in my opinion. I don't want Go to catch a whole bunch of Mythicals and Legendaries. Maybe give him, like, a couple, like, if they got to give Ash the sword and Go the shield and, like, do that and stuff like that. But I don't really want Go to have a whole bunch of Legendaries in his box, basically. Like, that's kind of odd to me. That's kind of pushing it. But I am interested to see what this episode will hold. The episode I'm most excited for right now is definitely this Pikachu one. Also, guys, I put out this weird yet interesting trend I've been noticing with Ash Captures. They're always at five to six episodes after the last one, which essentially the next one would be episode 32 possibly, but that's the Celebi episode, and I don't see Ash Catcher Pokemon there. So maybe his next capture will be 33. I'm not sure if that trend's still going to continue, but it is kind of interesting, so be on the lookout. But yeah, everyone, in the comment section down below, let me know what y'all think of these new episode titles. I would love to hear. Thank you all for watching, and I hope you all enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Trade Man 1, peace out.